The Constant Reminder SCP-5756 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Blam Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Occurrences of SCP-5756 are to be reported to the Chief of Security and Containment. Presently, our Pinsack, and affected items confiscated thereby. Update, 2017, September 10th. Technician JM-64 is hereby prohibited from using SCP-5756-A. Footnote, what he doesn't know can't hurt him. Ibanez, Chief D. Description. SCP-5756 is a phenomenon affecting Personal Storage Locker 4B of Site-43's Janitorial and Maintenance Section. Hereafter, SCP-5756-A. Annually, items stored within SCP-5756-A are corrupted by SCP-5756. This phenomenon is rare and poorly understood. Discovery. After completing his shift on 2013, September 7th, Technician JM-64, Philip E. Deering, returned his custodial uniform, work boots, and ID card to his designated personal storage locker. JM-64 then retired to his quarters for the evening, and remained there to the following day as per annual protocol. Prior to his next shift, JM-64 accessed his storage locker to find that, from the waist down, his required uniform had been converted into a red lab coat. He reported this occurrence to his supervisor, who observed that the converted material was typical of standard applied occultism vestments. Footnote: Site 43's Applied Occultism section studies the practical use of esoteric materials. Addendum 5756-1 Incident Logs Further SCP-5756 occurrences are listed below. Incident Log 5756-B Date 2014, September 9th Officer of Record D. Ibanez, Chief Without Portfolio Footnote Chief Ibanez had recently resigned from her security and containment position. This was her last duty prior to reassignment. Summary Two days prior to the incident, JM-64 returned the same set of items to his locker as he had a year before. Additionally, he left a slice of cake from a staff event, forgetting that he would not be allowed to retrieve it the next day. Upon his return, he discovered that the cake was missing and one of his work boots had been replaced with a worn leather shoe. JM-64 reported a strange sense of familiarity, though this was soon replaced by disappointment at the lack of cake. Note. Incident occurred exactly one year after the previous. Relation to other containment activity unknown. Technician Deering is allowed to continue using SCP-5756-A, so long as he reports any other occurrences. Incident Log 5756-C Date 2015, September 9th Officer of Record R. Pinsack, Chief of Security and Containment Summary as per the previous year, JM-64 returned his typical items to his locker. As suggested by Chief Pinsack, a digital camera was also placed within SCP-5756-A. JM-64 returned to find his ID card snapped in two. However, the pieces instead displayed an image of his brother and former researcher in applied occultism, Dr. Dougal Deering. No other items were affected, and the camera was retrieved successfully. JM-64 reported frustration as he had attempted to contact his brother several times in the past decade, to no avail. Note: Analysis of the affected item demonstrates inconsistencies with standard ID cards. Namely, the photo of Dr. D. Deering appears to have been taken several years after his last known photo. Retrieved footage is restricted to level 4 clearance or higher. JM-64 will be provided a new ID card and will not be made aware of his brother's death in 2002. Incident Log 5756-D Date 2017, September 9th Officer of Record, R. Pinsack, 
Chief of Security and Containment. Summary. This year, among his typical belongings, JM-64 stored a watch in his locker. As suggested by Chief Pensack, a pen and stationery were also placed within SCP-5756-A. Upon his return, the face of JM-64's watch had been shattered, and its other surfaces scratched or dulled such that it was non-reflective. The pen was missing, and the stationery read, I know that's not you. Note. Machine analysis of the stationery detected a 92% match to Dr. D. Deering's handwriting. Update. 2017, September 10th. JM-64 has been assigned a new personal storage locker. SCP-5756-A is only to be used by cleared personnel from now on. Diabanez, Chief of Pursuit and Suppression. Situational Security Clearance Level 5756-4 required for further review. Addendum 5756-2, Video Transcript. Summary. The following is a transcript of the video footage retrieved from Incident 5756-C. Begin Log. In A, footage remains dark as SCP-5756-A is closed. 0000. Footage gains a pervasive reddish hue. 0012. The locker opens. A man is seen removing an applied occultism uniform from his person and hanging it outside the camera's view. From the waist down, the uniform has emerged with a typical janitorial and maintenance outfit. 0013. The man pauses, reaching into the locker and producing JM64's ID card. He examines it, apparently upset then covers his mouth as he begins to sob. 0015 The man appears to collect himself, slowly walking to the far side of the room. As he recedes from the camera's view, several previously obscured items become visible. These include a leather shoe, a work boot, and a moldy slice of cake. The man places the ID card on the bench alongside these items. 0020 after several minutes, the man stands up from the bench, shouting wordlessly. He retrieves another ID card from his pocket, snaps it in two, and proceeds to throw the pieces into the locker before slamming it shut. N.A. Remaining footage corrupted. End log. Note, despite significant facial hair growth, the man has been identified as Dr. Dougal Deering.